close the tarp. All right. Hello. Today we are going to be doing a beginner total body strength class. Oh, let me just so you can see my head a little bit more. All right. So we're going to just start by warming up to so just moving your arms, moving your legs, whatever way you want to move. Just start moving. You can march in place. I want to adjust this camera. Keep moving. It's still a little off. Okay, there we go. I don't think I'll ever get it perfect, but I want you to be able to see my feet and my head. All right. Couple more. And then we're going to start with a tricep extension. And then we'll go into a side leg raise. So for the first one, we're going to be working those triceps in the back of our arms and we're going to use our dumbbells if you have them again you can feel free to do this with things you have around the house or with your own body weight if you have dumbbells go ahead and grab them we're going to have our feet together slight bend in the knee hinging at your waist weights at your hip extend back and forward again you're only moving from your elbow down so your elbow stays in the same spot and you're just moving below your elbow good perfect all right keep breathing six seven good eight nine ten 11 and 12. Good. All right. You can put those weights to the side. We're going to go into a side leg raise. So feel free to hold on to something if you feel more comfortable. We're going to bring one leg out, making sure that toe faces forward and slowly bring it back in. So trying to make sure that standing leg has a slight bend in the knee. Good. Three. Make sure that toe stays facing forward. Good. Again, feel free to hold on to something if it feels a little unsteady. Good. Six. Seven. You're really going to feel it in that side of your leg. Awesome. Good. Last three. Two. And last one. Perfect. All right, shake both legs out. We're going to switch to the other side. So that standing leg, slight bend in the knee so you're not locking it in. We'll bring that leg out to the side, toe facing forward. Slowly come down. Good. Keep breathing. And that toe might want to start to go in the direction you're kicking, but really try to make sure that toe stays facing forward so you really target the side of your leg. Good. Halfway there. Seven. Keep smiling. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Good. All right. Give those legs another shake. And we'll go back to the tricep extension. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells if you have them. Again, feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, weights at your hip, elbows in, elbows stay where they are, and just moving your from down below your elbow. Perfect. All right, we're gonna feel it in the back of our arms. Keep that back flat. Keep breathing. You got this. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Last two. Eleven. And twelve. Awesome. All right. Put those weights to the side. We'll do one more round of the side leg raise. So again, that standing leg, slight bend in the knee, send that other leg out to the side, toe facing forward, slowly lower back down. Good. So nice and controlled. Awesome. Make sure that 
Standing leg, the knee is not locked in. Good, keep breathing. Awesome. Six, good. Seven, eight. Good, almost there, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Give those legs a shake. Both legs are working in this exercise. That standing leg is holding your whole body up, and the other one is working that side. All right, we'll come to the other side. Slight bend to the knee. Leg comes out, toe facing forward. Slowly come down. Good. Two. Three, good, four. And again, doesn't matter how far you get it out, just trying to make sure that toe is pointed forward and you're not leaning to one side. Good, halfway, almost there, seven, eight, good, nine, 10, 11, and last one, 12. All right, give those legs a shake. We're going to switch between a bicep curl and then we're going to be doing a reverse lunge. So first, we're not together, we'll do them separately, but let's go into that bicep curl first. Grabbing those dumbbells again, elbows glued, palms facing forward. We're gonna curl to the top, keep those wrists straight, and slowly come down, making sure you don't just let gravity pull them. Good, so your work, doing work going up and coming back down. Make sure those elbows stay glued to your side. It's easy to wanna to bring them up. Try to keep them glued so we really target those bicep muscles. Good, keep breathing. Good, six. Seven, good. Keep those wrists straight. Make sure they're not coming towards you at the top, keeping them as straight as you can. Good. Awesome, two more. Good, and last one. Curl to the top and slowly come down. All right, awesome. All right, so for the reverse lunge, again, if you want to hold on to the wall, you can. We're going to just do one side first, then switch. So for balance, if you want to hold on, totally fine. So what we want to do is keep our feet together. We're going to step back with one leg. Our main goal is making sure this front knee doesn't go over our toe. So we're thinking sitting down and back. Again, doesn't matter how far you go down. You can go all the way down or you can just go a little step back. That's it. Just make sure that front knee doesn't go over your toe. All right, ready? Stepping back, one. Trying to keep upright as much as you can. Good. Perfect. So you're mostly gonna feel it in that leg that is not moving, but you might feel it a little bit in this opposite leg as well. So again, Check on that knee, make sure it's not jetting over your toe. Keep breathing, we're halfway there. And then we'll switch, good. Good, keep it up. Again, you decide how far you wanna go down, whatever feels comfortable. Good, three more. Keep breathing, three, two, and last one. Awesome. All right, give those legs both a shake and we'll switch to the other side. All right, so again, beginning with both feet together, stepping one back, down and back, and step back up. Good. Check on that knee. Awesome. Trying to stay as upright as you can. Good. Four. Awesome. Five. Keep breathing. Six. 
check on that knee again. Sometimes it starts out good and then starts to go forward a little bit towards the end. So just make sure that it's still in the right position. Good. Three more. Good. Almost there. Two. And last one. Awesome. All right. Give those legs a shake. We're going to go back to the bicep curl. So we'll give those legs a little rest while we do some bicep curl. All right, so elbows glued, palms facing forward, curl to the top, keep those wrists straight, and slowly lower down. Good. Two, keep breathing. Three, good. Four. Awesome. Five. Make sure those elbows are still at your side, that they didn't creep forward. Make sure those wrists stay straight. Awesome. We're halfway there. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good. Almost there. Three to go. Three. Two, and last one. Awesome. All right, perfect. You can put those weights to the side. We're gonna go back to the reverse lunge. So picking which side you wanna start with. You can hold on to the wall or a chair. We're gonna start with our feet together. Step back, down and back. Make sure that knee stays behind your toe and step back up to meet that other foot. You decide how far you want to go down. You can just step back or you can go down further. Whatever feels more comfortable. Good, perfect. Keep breathing. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Good, you're doing great. Nine. Good. Ten. Eleven. And one more. Twelve. Good. All right. Give both those legs a shake. We're going to head to the other side. All right. I know those legs are getting tired. We're almost there. All right. Feet together. Step back. Make sure that knee stays behind your toe and step back up. Good. You decide how far you want to go down. Try to stay upright as much as you can. Good. Four. Good. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Awesome. Keep breathing. Eight. Nine. And last two, you got this. And one more. And done. All right, give those legs a shake. We'll give the legs a little rest while we do a row. So we're gonna work that upper back. So grabbing those dumbbells again. All right, so this time, same position as the tricep, feet together. Slight bend in the knee, hinging forward, but this time our weights are straight out in front of us, back flat. We're gonna row up, keeping those elbows close to your body at the top, pretending like you're holding something between your shoulder blades and slowly release forward. Good. Two. Good, keep breathing. Keep those elbows close to your body. Squeeze at the top. Four. Good. Five, six, good, keep breathing, seven, eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and one more, twelve. Awesome job. All right, put those weights to the side. 
We are going to switch between that and we're going to do lifting that leg up as high as we can, extend and flex. So again, with this one, as I always say, you decide how high you wanna lift that leg to start. You can go down here, you can lift it really, really high, but what we're gonna just do is extend our leg and flex. So you decide what height you wanna start with. So again, feel free to hold onto a wall, trying to make sure that standing leg has a slight bend in it just so you don't walk it in, because then by the end, it's not gonna feel great if you walk it in. All right, so lifting that leg up to whatever height feels comfortable. Straighten your leg and bend. So you really wanna feel it in that quad muscle. The higher you hold it, the more you're gonna feel it. All right, here we go. Good. Extend and bend. Good. Awesome. Try not to go too fast. Try to hold it up that whole time, standing up straight, six. Good, seven, keep breathing, eight, nine, ten, good, eleven, and twelve. All right, that leg must be tired. Let's shake it out and do the other side. All right, same thing. You decide the height, extend, and bend. Or straighten and bend, whatever you want to think. Again, trying hard to work this quad muscle right here. The higher you hold this leg, the more you're going to feel it. Good. Keep going. Six. Not too fast. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. 11 and 12. All right, give those legs a little rest while we do the row again. So grabbing those dumbbells once again. All right, feet together. Slight bend in the knee, hinging at your waist. Back flat, weight's out in front of you. All right, we're gonna row up, keeping those elbows close. Squeeze the shoulder blades together at the top and slowly come down. Good. Two. Awesome, keep breathing. Three. Four. Good, make sure you keep those elbows close. Five. Good, six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine, make sure that back is flat so you don't strain your back at all. All right, last two. And one more squeeze. All right, all right, put those weights to the side. Let's go back to the leg extension. All right, so again, holding on if you'd like, lifting that leg up as high as you can or want to, <laughs> extend it and bend, good. Two, try to stand up tall, try not to lean back or lean forward, keep that back flat, even a pelvic tilt. When in doubt, do a pelvic tilt. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but it's true, good. Keep breathing, seven, eight, good, nine, 10, Good, 11, and 12. Good, give those legs a shake. We'll go to the other side. Lifting that leg up, we'll extend and bend. Extend and bend. Good, keep breathing. Four, five, good, six, Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Last two. Eleven. And twelve. Give those legs a shake. All right. We're going to do 
This time, two rounds of arm circuits, switching between that and just a normal calf raise. Okay, so for the first round, we're gonna pulse our palms, or not our palms, have our palms facing up, pulsing up towards the ceiling. Then we're gonna pulse down. Then we're gonna come in front of us. And then usually we go over our head, but instead we're gonna circle forward. So a little bit different. Again, I'll remind you as we go on, we'll do 20 calf raises, then we'll do a different arm circuit and go back to the calf raises. All right, so again, we'll start with our palms facing up. Oh, wait, before, let me get my timer out so we don't do any extra by accident. Okay, we're gonna do 20 seconds in each direction. Ready? Palms up and pulse. Good. Again, trying to not make your neck do any of the work. Relax the neck, really focus on your arms. Good. Awesome. Again, the next one will be palms facing down, pulsing down. Let's see, we have, you can switch palms facing down. That went by kind of quick. I was like counting, about to count down. I'm like, nope, we better switch right now. We already did 20 seconds. All right, so 20 seconds here. And the next one is in front of your body, kind of like you're clapping your hands together with your arms straight. Okay, we have, few more seconds. <laughs> All right, we'll come forward in three, two, one. Clapping your hands kind of forward and back. Or if you want your palms facing down, that's okay too. Whatever feels more comfortable, good. Awesome, good. All right, then we have the circling forward in three, two, one, circling forward, a little switching up. Usually we start with the circles forward, but now they seem harder now since we did them at the end. Good, we have 10 more seconds. Good. You got this, three, two, one. All right, give those arms a little shake, a rest, and we're gonna just switch between that and 20 half raises. So if you want to hold on, you can, but again, my rule is keeping a string, not a real string, pretend like there's a string attached to your head and it's pulling you right towards the ceiling, just so you're not using your hips to go back and forth. So again, doesn't matter how high you go up, we'll do 20. Ready? And go. One, two, straight up towards the ceiling. Three, four, five, Seven, good, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, good, 19, and 20. All right, shake those legs out. We're gonna go back to the arm circuit again. We're gonna do the same thing, except instead of at the end circling forward, we're gonna circle back, but the same first three. So we'll start with our palms facing up and we'll, we'll give ourselves 10 seconds just to make it even. All right, palms facing up, we'll start in three, two, one. Little pulses up. Again, really trying to use your arms, trying not to put any tension in your neck. Good. Keep breathing, we're almost there. We just have this arm circuit and the Half raises, then we can stretch. All right, three, two, one. Palms facing down. Good. Awesome. Again, the next one is in front of your chest. In 10 seconds, we're almost there. All right, bring it across your chest in three, two, one. Good. Awesome, again, either palms facing each other or palms down towards the floor. Good, awesome. All right, we only have one more after this is circling back and we'll do that in three, two, one. Circling back, good. Almost there, 
Awesome. Ten more seconds. Good. Three, two, one. All right. Let those arms rest. All right. We'll finish up with 20 calf raises and then we'll do a quick little stretch. So string attached to your head right up towards the ceiling. You decide how high you can go without swinging your hips back and forth. Good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Eleven, twelve. Good. Keep it up. We're almost there. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Yay, we made it. All right, let's do a quick stretch. Again, feel free to do an extra round of these stretches after or check out our videos if you want a, a more intense or longer stretch. But we'll bring our arm across our body. Catch your breath, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Switching arms. Good. Awesome. All right, we're going to bring our arm behind our back, grabbing onto our elbow. Good. Keep breathing. Good. Switching sides. All right, heel on the floor, reaching towards that foot, or you can do this against the wall to stretch out that calf muscle. Uh, really stretching out the back of your leg. All right, we'll move on to the other side. Good. All right, we're gonna bring our legs apart, slight bend in the knee, letting our whole body fall forward, swaying side to side. Letting everything release, grabbing onto the elbows, slowly rolling up, deep breath in, and out. You can bring your arms low behind your back, deep breath in, and out, bringing them forward, tucking your head between that circle you made, stretching out the back of your neck. Two more, deep breath in and out. One more, deep breath in and out. All right, awesome job.